Good morning. It is Monday and I thought today, because I have a PTO day today for MLK Day, I thought I would take you kind of through a day in my life when I have a day off. Randy's still working today, but I've got some errands to run and I need to put the house back together now that I'm back in town and I'm like rested and put back together. So we're going to do that. But first I'm gonna get some coffee because I ran out of creamer and I I need coffee today. It's, it's gonna be a day if I don't have coffee. So let's get ready. I'm not doing my hair today because I did my, ooh, I did my self tanner last night. So like my face probably looks ridiculous right now. But I did that last night and took a shower. So I'm not gonna rewash my hair. I actually want this to be lower because I got a new hat when I was at the show in Vegas that I wanna wear. So we're just gonna do a, a, a mid-range bun. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you call it, but that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm not doing a full face today because I just, there's no point, I'm gonna be at home. So yeah, I'm just gonna do like my basic makeup today because I'm still working on getting my skin clear. And I actually learned when I was in Vegas that like I was reading all about this and everyone was saying that it made them break out, which is weird. I've never heard of a cleanser that makes you break out. And I was reading that um, if you have hard water that can make your skin break out, which is definitely part of my problem. So, like when I was in Vegas, I was using the water there and I came back and my skin was so much better. And now here it's like starting, like you can see up here, starting to break out again. So I made an appointment with my doctor because I have a feeling my hormones are still out of whack from my surgery. So we're going to get it figured out in the next couple months. But until then, I'm going to keep using it and see if it does anything. Cause like it's not getting worse now. So I think everything started to even out. And I actually really like the product itself. So we'll see. Probably help if I clean my makeup brushes too. I think I'm gonna do that today. I need to find a good moisturizer cause I've been using Randy's CeraVe. And it's just a little too thick for me. I'm gonna try this one again because I actually like how this one feels. It's very light. It's the Origins, I don't know if you can see, Origins Original Skin. And I heard it was supposed to be good for redness, but I haven't, because I haven't used it like often enough for me to notice, but I do like how it feels. But I'm literally just gonna put this on today. My, my bare minerals, we're not doing anything greater than that because we're gonna let things breathe for a little bit. I think I do wanna give it like a good month though of me actually like doing my skincare routine because I'm horrible at doing that. And I know that would help. I was very good about doing it in Vegas. So that might have been part of it too in combination with the water issue. So today's plan, I've gotta go get some more chicken I ordered groceries. I spent so much on groceries this week. I didn't get everything I needed. So I gotta go to Target and get some, or Ralph's or something and get chicken. And let me just see if I can get it delivered. And I wanna go look for a couple other things at Target. I'm gonna get like toilet paper and paper towels and things like that too. And then I need to clean my bathroom. My bathroom is disgusting. And then my room is about to go off so I don't have to worry about sleeping. I cleaned the kitchen yesterday. Um, just because I was cooking a lot yesterday and the kitchen was driving me nuts. We got that taken care of and then I'm going to do the bedroom today and laundry. I'm so behind on laundry. I now have three laundry baskets back here and they're all between my trip and because like I had to actually wear normal clothes on my trip. So I've got way more laundry than I normally do. I think I'm going to try and go to the gym today too. 
um, at some point. I'm gonna wait till all the morning people get out of there. So that is the plan for today. But for now, I'm gonna go get some coffee and make some breakfast. Yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna cook breakfast again today. I think I'm just gonna do granola and yogurt and my coffee. So I'm gonna put that into my tractor, see where I'm at. Yesterday, I actually did really good. I was under my calories for the day without really planning everything. But then I was watching Wednesday last night and I really wanted popcorn and I made way too much and I ate it. I ate the whole thing. But it's low calories, so I'm not too concerned and I think it still fit within my calories. But I got the elote seasoning from Trader Joe's and oh my god, that on popcorn is delicious. Okay, let's go get some coffee. Everything's a disaster in here, so got my coffee. Had a nice little walk down to Starbucks. I'm gonna start with the bedroom. I say it's a disaster, but it's just like, it just needs to be picked up and vacuumed. So I'm gonna do that and pick up my bathroom and change the cat litter. I'm pretty much done because I did the kitchen yesterday. Room is going. So I'm gonna mop after the room is done. And then I've got the day to do whatever, which is nice. So I think I'm just gonna order whatever I need from Target and have it delivered because I don't wanna deal with it. So. Let's start with the bedroom. Let's see how long that takes us. Excuse me, kitty. You're in my spot. seems weird what I'm making because it's so nice outside but I really felt like making soup <laughs> so I'm making um, a crock pot wild rice ch chicken soup all right so I'm putting more chicken in this than it calls for but I couldn't just find a pound of chicken so we're doing like one and a half pounds which isn't that much more we're going to put the chicken the rice I get this mirepoix, I don't know if that's how you say it. I don't like chopping things, so I buy this, and it says it's two cups, roughly, so I'm just gonna dump this whole thing in. And then poultry seasoning I don't have, so Google says to just mix 
thyme and sage and that's all it is so we're gonna start with that in the crock pot and i think i have crock pot cleaners i do i've never used these for soup before though so we'll see how it does i always forget i have these I don't really notice a difference in cooking time when I use these. I think it still works just fine. And you don't have to dice the chicken or anything. You just kind of throw it in the bottom. Okay, and then the veggies. Normally, because I'm lazy, if it only calls for like one cup of this. I always end up putting in the whole thing because it's just vegetables. It's not gonna do anything. And then chicken broth. So wait, okay. It called for six cups of chicken broth and I thought I had two of these, but I don't. So we're gonna do one of these, which is about three cups. And then I'm going to do the rest with Boyan Cube. I only apparently have two. So we're going to do two and see how that goes. We're just winging it because I apparently don't know how to read a recipe. And then um, two cups of water. separate video on how I am using my Notion. I'm using, I'll link it down below, but I'm using Jenna Hong's template and kind of adjusting it for how I want to use it because there's some pages in there that I'm not going to use um, just because I don't do that. And then there's some that I'm adapting to work for me. On Friday, I actually got the work dashboard set up. And I'm just going to keep adjusting that as I use it. But for right now, it works for what I need to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to work through that. And I think the only one, like, I need to go through each one and, like, figure out if I'm actually going to use it. So my pages keep, and then if I decide to use it later, then I have it. I've added a few pages of my own, too. Because, like, we're always talking about how we need a wish list of things that we want. And so one of the things I'm going to do today is build kind of like, not like a vision board, but like a, because it's kind of a vision board of like how I want to rebuild my wardrobe because I was doing like organizing stuff a couple weeks ago and everything I own <laughs> 
pretty much even just packing for vegas like you guys saw in the last video everything i own is t-shirts and leggings because i don't leave the house and i don't really go out and visit clients anymore so over the next few months i want to start getting like good quality clothing that i can use for work trips or work meetings or even just start like dressing a little better at home during the week like obviously i'm still gonna wear my leggings and i'm still gonna wear activewear and things like that but i need some like nicer nicer clothes that aren't just graphic t-shirts from work <laughs> i want to work on that today and build kind of a board for that i'm not sure exactly how i want to do it yet i think what i'm gonna do is actually do kind of a vision board like collage thing of like styles that i like and put that on the page and then kind of do links of places that i would like to start shopping that carry my size and obviously i don't want to spend like once I start doing this in a few months, I don't want to spend a ton of money because I am trying to lose weight, but I do need some things that are going to last me while I'm going through that process. So that's that. Um, I think I'm going to go to the gym. Let's see. It's 11 right now. I'm going to work on this stuff for a little bit and then like around one or two after lunch, I think I'll go to the gym because I'm just doing the salad for lunch. So that'll be easy. Yeah. I'm going to work on this for a little bit and then It's lunch time. I made a salad. It's the Toscano black pepper Toscano barbecue, something like that. Sweet onion barbecue. Um, and I just like cut up some chicken strips to put on top because I wanted some crispy chicken. So I'm gonna eat this and edit some videos. Um, and then I've got therapy in like an hour. So after that, we'll do our little notion walkthrough. <laughs> I know you're upset. You're locked out of your room, aren't you? We're just gonna chill? No? Okay. All right, so this is Notion, <laughs> and again, I took this from Jenna, all credit goes to her. I will link hers, her template, her original template, um, and her video below, but I did adapt some of these, so they're not 100% Jenna's, but the idea was taken from Jenna, and I'm sure she took it from other YouTubers. Um, I know she mentioned a few in her video, so we'll, we'll add those in um, at the end. But we start off on the dashboard. I haven't changed all of the covers yet. We're gonna go through and adjust those later. And a lot of the images that she kind of has on these pages, I haven't really had a chance to like go through and swap out for my own. Just cause this does take a lot of work. Um, so we're starting off with the year, month, day. I just think this is cute cause it tells you like what percentage of each you are. So like 4% through the year. 52% for the through the month. It's just kind of cute and different. Um, and then obviously the weather and the time. So anytime I go through to my dashboard, that is all right there. Um, and then we go down and we have the personal passion and growth and development sections. So this is just kind of where I we like organize um, the links to the different pages so that if I'm like on my phone, I can just scroll down to each section and click on whatever one I need to go to so that we can navigate to a menu. Um, so personal, we have yearly goals, calendars, monthly goals and reflections, and then the wish list. The wish list page is one that I added. And then for passion, we have a YouTube schedule, a YouTube brain dump, and then a focus hub. The way she set up this focus hub is actually really cool. Um, I'm not going to really go into much detail on that because she does a way better job of explaining it than I will, but I'm going to try it out and see if it works because it's actually kind of cool. Um, and then growth and development, we have 80-20 lifestyle, which is actually something I was already doing without even knowing it was a thing. So I left that on there just because it was interesting and it has a meal planner that I'm going to try and use and adapt. Um, books and media hub, so she was using this as a way to track books that she wanted to read and movies she watched, um, which I'm going to try and do that too because I do want to read more this year. So 
We'll see if I keep that or not. And then ideal routines. So that is that. And I've got my little vision board that I made there. So cute. Um, so yeah, let's start off. I'm not going to go through all of these pages just because some of them I don't want I don't want to like give you guys a sneak peek of what's coming on the channel. So uh yearly goals. Let's start off there. So I've talked about a lot of these in like TikToks and other videos, but and just like in general, if you know me, you know about a lot of these. But goals for the year are broken down into personal, health and fitness, and career categories. So I haven't really done, I actually have my review at work next week, so I'm going to fill those in later. And I've got my own like career related things that are on review related that I do have on here. But for personal goals, I want to learn a new skill. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm going to figure out something. Um, a hundred, it's supposed to be a thousand subscribers. Let's change that. A thousand subscribers on YouTube by the end of the year. Um, not drinking during the work week, work week at home. Um, if we go out to dinner during the week or whatever, that's fine, but no drinking at home. Um, nurturing relationships with people that are close to me. So like getting better at, um, being a better friend basically and like checking in on people and making time to spend time with people that I care about. Um, working on self-care because I am terrible at that and then um, I have learning a new skill on here twice apparently so we'll delete that one and then health and fitness lose 70 pounds now, this is one I don't have a hard deadline of the end of the year to lose 70 pounds I just want to be on my way to losing 70 pounds by the end of the year so as long as there's a significant change that is I've achieved that goal at the end of the year going to the gym at least three times per week, um, or minimum of three times per week. I am not very good at that. So we're, we're gonna work on that <laughs> a lot. Um, forming a better relationship with food. I eat nonstop and I am an emotional eater. So that is one of the things that we're gonna work on. Um, I put hormone balancing on here. I don't know if that's a real issue of mine, but we're gonna find out. And that's something I wanna figure out to help my skin and just everything else in general. And then clear skin, obviously that goes with all the other things. Um, and then career goals, I wanna have a promotion this year and then getting more involved in things outside of my day-to-day -day tasks, uh, like training new people, um, things like that. So that's that and then I'll fill in the rest when I have my review. Um, in those other sections and over here she has it broken down by quarter and I actually saw a few other people on TikTok doing this and I really liked it because I feel like every year people go into it in January where it's like all or nothing and it shouldn't be so quarter one you're focusing which is like the first three months of the year you're focusing on your health and fitness um, second quarter you're just focusing on personal quarter three, you're focusing on your career. And the idea is to continue doing what you did in the previous quarter and the next quarter so that by the end of the year, you're working on all of your goals. Um, and she's got things broken out into months too. I don't know that I'm gonna do that just because a lot of these go hand in hand. So it doesn't really make sense to me to do it that way. Um, but if, it, if you wanna do it that way, you can and you can fill these in. I just haven't removed it yet because I haven't decided. Um, and then we can go back to the dashboard here and next would be the calendar. So she actually uses this for like her personal calendar too, which I don't do because Brandy and I use Google Calendar um, and my work uses Google Calendar. So everything's on there on my phone and I actually use that a lot. So I'm not going to put that on there yet. I am trying it for the YouTube calendar. Um, and like posting dates and stuff. We'll see, I was using Google Calendar for that before and I kind of liked it because it would notify me, but we're gonna try this out and see how we like it. Um, monthly goals. So I have this on here for January. I like the idea of the monthly um, because then I can go back at the end of the month and see how I did. She did have a weekly one on there too and I'm not someone that's gonna sit there at the end of the, every week and do that. 
so I deleted that one. But um, like she has them here, it's where she uh, took this idea from. Um, so we'll try that out at the end of this month and see if we like it and if we want to continue doing it. And then I have my wish list. So I'm using this as just things that I don't necessarily need, but I want to buy. Um, and I've got it sorted out by accessories, clothing, um, home decor, things for the house, luxury items that I want, um, makeup and skincare that I want to purchase and try out, tech items, things for my channel, um, things like that. So everything will go into its category and I have everything attached with a link so I can just go right there and buy it when I'm ready. Um, or I can go on here if Randy wants to see things that I want, I can go on here and show him that and he can go buy it for me. <laughs> um, all right, then back to the dashboard. So passion obviously is my YouTube channel stuff. Um, so there is like a brainstorm section. I don't know that I'm actually going to use this because it's just random ideas, but she also has that on here for like ideas, research, scripting, things like that. Um, and like where it is in the process. And I think I'd rather use this version. So we're trying that out first. Um, and then the focus hub. So this is actually really cool. And I think I'm gonna add the Spotify playlists on here like she did. Um, because I have like certain albums that I listen to when I like need to focus. I should make like a whole focus playlist, but when I need to focus at work, I listen to Hamilton because I don't know why, something about it, it makes me focus for a longer period of time. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it's weird. So I'm gonna post or uh, link things like that on here. Um, and then I can put my to-dos on there so that if I'm like trying to focus for like two or three hours, like a good session of just like getting through something, I can make my list right here if I need to, or if I'm trying to work on something for content creation, I can do that too. Um, and then we go down to growth and development. So the 80-20 lifestyle. I'm still kind of researching what this is, but from what I've read, I'm already trying to do this in my own way. Um, so it's 80% nutritious foods, 80% fun foods. The way I'm doing it myself is, uh, five days out of the week I'm eating healthy and the two days out of the week I'm eating I'm allowed to eat non-healthy foods so and, and drink um, so basically work days I'm eating healthy and then Friday Saturday or Saturday Sunday however I decide to do it depending on what holidays are going on um, that's when I'm allowing myself to have more calories eat junk food things like that um, and then I adjusted the meal planner. She had this for just dinners. Breakfasts are ones that I'm like a little more unstructured about because I never know what I'm gonna want for breakfast or if I want breakfast. So I'm just planning out lunches and dinners here and then I can link the recipe if I need to. I could link it there too, but um, I like having the recipe here and then anything I need from the grocery store I can put in this column. So I think that'll make my life easier and I can just go on my phone and look and see what we're making for dinner that way. Um, she also has like the storage section for recipes. So when I'm meal planning, I can go look through here and pull recipes out and like put notes if we like them or not. So that's kind of handy. Um, and then she's got this section for ideal routines. So I put this on here and like, my job is pretty crazy some days, which you've seen if you watch my work from home vlogs because they're kind of chaotic. Um, but this is kind of how I structure my day when I'm having a normal day at work um, and there's not crazy things going on. Um, do I get up at 5.30 in the morning? No. Would I like to? Yes. <laughs> so that's why I put that on here. Um, and this is actually something else that I want to start doing. So. I left that on there from her version, but this is basically an ideal productive day for me. I would want to get up at 5.30 in the morning, um, drink some water, 
get myself awake and then go to the gym, come back, shower, get ready for the day, have my coffee, make some breakfast and then start work. Uh, and I try to take a couple breaks throughout the day at work. That way I can like make sure my dishes are clean. Um, and I'm not just like sitting there staring at a screen for eight hours because that's a lot. So this is how I kind of structured my work day. Um, and then at night, log off, start dinner, clean the kitchen up, and then either work on a vlog or a video or watch some TV or however I want to do that for the couple hours that I have left in the day before I go to bed. So obviously I'm not going to look at this page every day, but it's interesting to like go and see what things I am doing and what things I am not when it comes to the morning routine and the night routine, because the workday routine is just, it's, it's never the same. It, it does not work like that. <laughs> and then the book and media hub. So this is one that I'm not sure I'm going to use, but I'm trying to use it just because I think it's a good idea. Um, so she's got lists of books she wants to read and then she's got books that she currently has and is either in progress or hasn't started yet but she owns them so um i haven't gone through and done mine yet but this one i am currently reading um prince harry's book i got that i really like it don't come for me i love harry and Meghan. i support them <laughs> and what they're doing so um I, but I was never really a big royal family person. Um, so that's that. And then she's also got a tab for movies and shows. And these are all ones that she's put on there. And then podcasts, um, which I'm trying to get into more podcasts. So if you have any good podcasts, let me know in the comments. Um, but I do want to read some more. I want to start listening to podcasts more, things like that. So that's what I'm going to use that little section for she had like three or four other sections on here that she was using that I got rid of um I think there was a budget section which I'm not going to use because we do that together but hopefully this makes my life a little more organized we will see it, it's a work in progress <laughs> all right that's all I've got for you for today I'm gonna go finish up dinner and bid one Ugh binge watch some Netflix for the rest of the day. So I feel like we've had a productive day. We did pretty okay. Um, and then it's back to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna go finish up some laundry too. I started it. So we were very productive today. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.